Today's book is called Kickle Snifters and Other Fearsome Critters by uh, collected from American Folklore by Alvin Schwartz, illustrated by Glenn Rounds. It is said that there are strange creatures all around us, in the woods, in the mountains, in the lakes, everywhere. Cowboys, woodsmen, hunters, and other people see these creatures again and again, or say they do. Here is what they tell of them. Snoffus. Just after the sun goes down, look into the treetops. If you are lucky, you'll see a snoffus. A snoffus is a white deer with giant antlers from which flowers grow. As it leaps from tree to tree, it sings, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Squonk. A squonk never sings. It is so upset by the way it looks, it cries all the time. A famous hunter named Mule McSneed once caught a squonk by following its teardrops. Then he stuck it in a, in a sack and took it home. But the squonk cried so hard that when he opened the sack, nothing was left of it but a puddle. Malamo bird. A malamo bird eats giant worms that live in giant worm holes. When it gets hungry, it dives into one of these holes and finds itself a worm. Then it pulls in one direction and the worm pulls in the other. But each time it pulls, and each time the worm pulls, the worm stretches a little, like a rubber band. When finally the worm is stretched too thin, it gives up and lets go, and it shoots out of its hole like a shot and smacks the malamo between the eyes. Then it jumps back into its hole. Goofus bird. The goofus bird likes to see where it has been, not where it is going, so it flies backwards. It also likes to sleep upside down, so it builds its nest bottom side up.